In Denmark, or in the Copenhagen area alone, there is about five uh, NLP groups, uh, two of which are in the top ten in, in Europe, and uh, all work in close collaboration uh, with industry. First of all, we reach out to other scientific communities. There's a lot of interaction with linguistics, uh, psychology, mathematics, engineering, etc. But also, um, everything we do is uh, open source code. You can go to the internet, you can download our code, you can read our papers. So it's a very open and, and transparent process to develop uh, NLP. There's a lot of active research in making uh, ethical AI, if you like. In our group, we've been working with uh, something called demographic parity, which is the idea that uh, AI technologies should be independent of the demographic attributes of the end user. So making sure that our predictions do not differ for men and women or people of different age groups, et cetera. Uh, and, and being able to build AI technologies that can deal with uh, privacy issues is, uh, is also, I think, a differentiator on that market. Trust is all. So I think all players involved in developing AI ultimately depend on the trust of the end users. Most of our research funding most of the investments in small and big companies depend on there being a market. And there's only a market if the end customer, the end user of an AI technology has trust in that uh, technology. So my impression is that the Danish market, it's a relatively regulated uh, market in meaningful ways. And I think while that might be a bottleneck in other sectors for AI, which is so heavily dependent on the trust of the end user, I think uh, having strong public institutions, some oversight in the regulated market is going to be a real advantage in the long run.